This is part two, how to use A and B compound. We're going to use a rubber hog RH. What number is this? This is a uh, Rotosaur 61, yeah, RH619. This is to uh, buff the area out, skive it out. And I'm going to try and use a tool that you'd have readily available at home, like a cordless drill. Um, we're going to see how that works. Over to you, Brad. Okay. This is just a cosmetic. This is just cosmetic damage. It's a spare wheel of my trailer. There we go. Now I'm just going to use a brand new wire brush, normally I'd use it like a rotary wire brush on an air buffer, but we're going to try and use tools you'd have at home as much as possible. Now we're going to use Tech Vulcanising Fluid, catalogue number 760. And we're going to give it two coats. Right, let the first coat dry. Now we've got a nice dry windy day. We're outside, that's going to take uh, minutes to dry. We're going to follow that up by a second coat and then we're going to apply the A and B compound which is part three. <laughs> 